If you are here, you wish to know. Welcome to a new episode of What's News This Week, week when I talk about uh, new releases of video games, TV shows, uh, movies, so I could keep up and people would. And the first thing we're gonna talk about today is um, Last Dusk Falls. So it's an um, interactive drama from one of the developers from Quantic Dream that decided to make her own project and she decided it would be As Dusk Falls where you play as uh, parts of two different families that by this have uh, a tragic past, <laughs> kinda. And uh, there are a lot of variations so it's, and the multiplayer for eight people. So there's as many variations as in Detroit Become Human, if not more, so I'm interested to see. And the art style is quite interesting. They decided to do a lot of still images to capture emotions by voice. And that's nice. Some of the dogs are also there, but mainly all the characters are still images, which is still looks cool. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I would buy this game if I could, but unfortunately, you know, what situation? Uh, anyway, mm-hmm. uh, As Dusk Falls released by it, uh, just by itself or through Game Pass. The next one. The next one called Endling Extinction is Forever. If I understood correctly, you play as a fox mother. You play as a fox mother and you have to look after you kids so they would be okay and the robots that apparently will try to destroy you them who knew anyway there was uh, a game called shelter where you were playing as a mother badger and the second game where you were as a mother lynx and ha- have to look after your cups so it's, the, it's a different developer and here you play as Fox and looking after your cups, okay, trying to fight against hunters and all them. Another release out this week. Stray! Stray! But, but no, it's not a wolf strain, it's not a wolf strain, it's a Stray. Um, the game about little kitty! Uh, in a world of robots, trying to find a way home, which is really cute, but at some point turns into quite horror, as I heard. But it's uh, it's so hyped right now. Everyone plays. Everyone play, play, plays uh, on on a release date. It was yesterday. Yeah, it was, it was yesterday. There was a lot of people. To, the whole Twitch section was all about strategy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, it's released. <laughs> Available on PlayStation and PC. <laughs> okay, now we're going to Action Pact Severed Steel. Uh, it's remind me of uh, Super Hot. Super Hot. Super Hot. <laughs> but this, this one has story mode, and uh, I suppose uh, the premise is what if uh, Mega Man was a girl and gave no shit <laughs> to anybody? <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of uh, mods. You can play against enemies with big heads and, uh, and something big heads, explosive ammo and all the stuff. It even has its own level creator, so you wouldn't be bored in, in any way. And it has TL6 reflections, so you're not gonna, gonna be... You, you will see a cool picture whenever you do. No, so it could be a really nice game, game for, for, for evening, if you want action packed. Just start still, as you try some. Bright Memory Infinite. It's a um, kind of continuation of Bright Memory. It was a Chinese game that was made by one, one, one person. So, and I suppose uh, this one made not only by him, but with uh, a bunch of budget and uh, help with uh, different people. And it's, ki- it's kind of well, not the benefit of version, but the more. How should I say this? More rich in vision of the first project. Let's say it like this. So yeah, Bright Memory Infinite, when you play as uh, the Speciation Girl, and you can uh, cho- choose a lot of customs to, uh, for her to wear if you don't uh, li- like the story one. And uh, you will beat all these people, shoot them up, uh, slash them up, and can also fight with demons and uh, persons from different uh, time periods. That sounds this week. <laughs> Pokemon, don't mix it with Pokemon. 
So on the Switch there's a JRPG that <laughs> that's inspired, heavily inspired by Pokemon, but it's not. That's it's Coromon. But it's totally different. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, in this cute, cute pixel art adventure you will travel and um, collect monsters and make them fight with each other. Yeah, why not? That's it's gonna be a, quite an adventure <laughs> for all Pokemon lovers, I, I'm sure. <laughs> on Nintendo Switch. Out. Right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, another. Another Switch release. It's uh, a classic game that never came out outside of Japan. But now, thanks for generosity of Nintendo. To tell it with some more detail, considering the prices, since I have a of the products. Anyway, live a life. Live a life. It's a JRPG, and you play as different characters from different time periods. There's cowboy, ninja, Indian, biker, uh, caveman, martial artist, and the all all these stories kind of connected. Will be connected. Connected, and uh, it's uh, it's interesting premise. It's I would gladly explore if I knew it would exist. <laughs> That's all. If I'll ha have ability to play this game, I will. <laughs> Kenji Tatakowski's Primal Season 2. So, I still didn't watch the first one, one but you know Kenji Tatakowski, he made Star Wars Clone Wars uh, animated and um, sa sa Samurai Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack, Jack, Jack. Samurai Jack. <laughs> so, it's a. Uh, Maybe cool guy that uh, makes uh, cool animated stories and Primal got five enemies, so I suppose the second season also gonna be quite cool and brutal. So you know it's out. Now the Grey Man. Didn't I hype this movie when this trailer first came out? I believe I did. <laughs> and um, people were saying, oh, it's it's quite boring. It's, it feels like it was made by an AI. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I will judge it myself, but when I will find a way to watch it. But it's from Russo Brothers, and they making a cool spy movies like yeah, like Captain America, Civil War, or those else, the Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier, and Civil War, mm -hmm. or and, um, Avengers. So you, you saw which ones. So they can do a cool movies. Maybe yes, it was better. It has better writing, but I, I don't know. We, we, we'll find out. And that was everything that I found interesting this week. So, if you want to this channel to live and grow, please uh, do whatever you do in the end of this video and support me on other social medias. Links in the description. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you.